Free Minds Free People is a conference that really takes shape, uh, usually in whatever context it's being hosted in. And in, in the Bay Area, when we think about um, like Oakland especially, we can think about Oakland as sort of the birthplace of the third world solidarity. Free Minds Free People was important because we need a space for educators to think critically about why we do what we do. and. We talk about education, but we're not always talking about what the purpose of education is. And for a lot of us who are in people's education movement, we want to think about what are we going to do to get us to our liberation. We are privileged to be partnering with our lead local organization, People's Education Movement Bay Area. We are bringing three lives, three people to the West Coast to the town, to the home of the NBA champs. For the first time ever, we really appreciate you opening. We are hella excited to join us here. There's a lot of great workshops focusing on ethnic studies, focusing on curriculum, focusing on, on social movements on a global level, and how you can connect all of those things. Uh, I'm really excited about it. We have educators, we have organizers, we have young people all sitting at the table talking about, um, from different perspectives, from different issues, how can we use education as a tool for transformation. We're very clear that for us it's about self-determination. And self-determination is how we define how we're going to engage in decolonial struggle. There are a lot of youth volunteers that really ran the behind the scenes and really got to organize. It was really a meaningful experience for them and it was just a, a preview of what's to come. Another highlight was the cultural night. Oakland and the Bay Area has some of the most vibrant art in, in the country and I feel like we were really able to highlight that at the cultural night. I think a conference like this is a great opportunity to address how we can make sure that the passions of our students are ignited while they're in school. But like right now, education does a good job of killing those passions, of putting them inside a box, of restricting the creativity. And I hope that through this conference we can find new ways to make sure that our students are dreaming as big as possible and also too are being supported as they try to find out how they define their own narrative and their own stories and share those stories with the rest of the community. Personally, I think it is a good way to learn um, and a good way to uh, re reimagine education as something to inspire people, empower people, and to think of it in, like, in a different uh, context. Well, this piece that we created is basically just like an array of colors, and we went with the theme, which was justice, that we uh, wrote a poem about, and we took one of the quotes from the poem and put it into our um, art piece. We use different mediums, such as writing and um, visual art, to kind of express what, we're, what was going on and what was happening. I think the name says it all, is if you have a free mind, then you have a free person. So even though a lot of us are engaged in educational community work, sometimes we get tied down by the nature of our jobs, by real life that happens, real life things that happen, or just the nature of the system in general that we're fighting against. So 
I think it's good to take a four day refresher course to kind of just clear all that, clear your mind, build your brain, engage in pr productive dialogue and use it towards liberation. To just have so many folks from across the country who are doing really groundbreaking work and necessary work in, in rethinking how we teach our young people and what we're teaching them and how we build relationships with them to fundamentally shift um, practice is so necessary and also so liberating. We're saying we need an education that'll teach us to love ourselves, love our people, love other people who are experiencing the world just like us, and to think about success through our own needs, right? Thinking about self-determination is the primary need for our communities and what we need to do as a result of our education. I'm happy to be in a place where you can engage some difficult questions in the presence of young people. And I think Fremont is one of the few places that you can actually do that. So I try to support any way I can and come every year, every other year when we have it. We don't always get this kind of gathering in our schools, and so we need to create them outside of our schools. So it's necessary to have the, these spaces so that we can re-energize, you know, and then really get back to work in the fall. But this weekend I took a lot of notes, uh, made a lot of connections that I intend to build on, taking this knowledge that we have and actually applying it. I'm looking forward to actually going out and applying it and seeing what type of outcomes it produces with the youth that I work with. So the next steps to me is to really harness the energy that's here to make sure that we're really strongly um, and thinking about what are the ways that we can collectively um, build coalitions, right? Um, a lot of times we feel very isolated in our individual organizations at work and the uh, key to doing that or to breaking that cycle is to be building really strong networks. Thinking about the next two, four, 20 years is really around how we support each other in real heavy situations and this is a space that reminds us of the necessity of that support and ways to support each other. This space is vital. This space is vital. It's energizing. If you're doing this work and you are feeling run down and you're feeling overwhelmed and exhausted, this is a place where you want to be, to come together and connect and be re-energized, to have new ideas, to have inspiration. If there are things that are bothering you about school, about education, and you're not finding satisfaction, this is a place to start exploring those questions, start trying to connect with other people who are having the same questions, who are trying to find some answers.